Howdy guys, Cub Van here. Welcome to episode 191 of Cub Van's Minecraft Let's Play. Um, so today guys, we are going to be building an automatic wheat farm. But before we do that, I want to show you guys what we did on the live stream uh, last Saturday. Uh, by the way, there was an episode Tuesday because a tornado hit my town and I couldn't record because I didn't have power for about three days. So uh, that's why there was no Let's Play or live stream on Tuesday for those of you guys wondering. But uh, we did this during the live stream. Uh, we had uh, yeah some decoration put in, so we we put in some snow, we put in some packed ice. Uh, a little bit of it comes down from the ceiling, sort of like um, yeah like ice uh, icicles coming down from the ceiling. Uh, regular ice in some spots as well, and yeah of course all of our snowballs get put into uh, these chests here. So yeah, just a little nice little freezer area for the snowballs. That's kind of cool. And I also let me just get on over here. Miss it? Yes, I missed the gas. Thank goodness. Okay. Uh, so yeah, over here, I went ahead and put in a wheat section to our auto sorter down here. So you'll see here, here's the wheat um, sorter here. So this sorts all the wheat out. Uh, this is all from our automated farm. But today, we're going to make our wheat farm fully automatic. So uh, what that means is we need to get back up top. And we need to go ahead and just run up the steps real quick. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Uh, yeah, out here, we need to tear down the old wheat farm. So we got to tear this whole thing down. And we're going to replace it with a villager system. Now, it's going to be a little bit tricky. So we have, we have villagers working for us over here gathering... Uh, what are they gathering? They're gathering carrots, wheat, potatoes... Or, no, carrots, bread, and potatoes. Um, and yeah, you can see this guy working diligently. What a what a warrior. What a champion. Look at him, just going there, and then he's going to toss it in there. Fantastic. So, yeah, we're going to put up something similar over here. Um, but we first need to tear this down. So, uh, this farm, built this a while back. So, yeah, it's been a good farm for us. It gets us about uh, over 400 wheat per harvest. But as you can see, I haven't harvested it, or haven't um, replanted this time. Um, yeah, and all the wheat and seeds go down into here, via this hopper right here. But, yeah, time to take it down, I would say. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, everyone, so I'm about halfway done tearing down this building. And I also made sure that uh, everything would go uh, smoothly once we actually built this farm. So let me show you what I did. I sort of outlined where I want the farm to go. So, yeah, here's the outline here with some iron blocks. So it's going to be a little bit, the base is going to be a little bit bigger than the original uh, farm here. Um, but it won't be nearly as tall. It'll just be one layer tall, actually, uh, with some additional layers underground to collect stuff. Um, so uh, I also had to check and see uh, if nearby farmland would be a problem. So basically what I did, I counted some blocks from over here. Because if a villager is within 16 blocks uh, of a f piece of farmland, uh, then they can see that farmland and try to plant stuff. So if the edge of our, our building is going to be here, uh, I count it out and it's more than 15 blocks to the next farmland over here. Uh, on this side we have the melon farm, which I thought was going to be problematic, but apparently villagers don't look more than one block above their current location to... Um, yeah, search for a place to plant crops. So we don't have to worry about this because as you can see this is one, two, three blocks and it's on the actual actually on the fourth block above the ground where we'll put our villager farm. So this farm will definitely work. Uh, it's also far enough away from wooden doors in the uh, stable and from the wooden doors up there. Uh, over 128 blocks from those so that it won't be a problem. So, yeah, we're looking good so far. I uh, still have to tear down quite a bit more of this farm here, though. So I'll continue to work on that, and I'll be back once it's totally down. All right, everyone. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start laying down the tracks. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place down two powered rails like this, and then we're going to have the rest of the rail we'll lay down later. It's going to be, yeah, just one block underneath of the, uh, the top layer here. So it's just going to be... Yeah, going down like that, and then, you know, to the side or whatever. 
Um, so that's the first part here, and we're just going to make a basic unloader here. So all we need to do for this is we need to go ahead and break through here. We're going to go ahead and place down um, a redstone comparator right there. That's going to go into a block. So many of you guys have probably already seen this, but it just goes basically something like this. Uh, we're going to put down a torch right here. And then a redstone repeater is going to go right on this block facing that direction. So as long as there's a cart here unloading, the cart will just stay here. And then once it's done, it'll launch and start collecting again over here at the, the farm that's going to be here. So uh, now with that done, we can go ahead and drop on down here. And we're going to get into a little bit more advanced, um, <laughs> qu actually quite a bit more advanced um, logic. So uh, if we take a look over here at the... The net, the uh, melon pumpkin farm, which is the stop before the wheat and seed farm. Uh, we'll see if we take a look at F3. That so yeah, it's power level 11 here. So any cart that has a power level of 12 or greater will launch from from this uh, yeah from this station. And then if we come down here, there's an additional piece of logic here that says if the power level is uh, nine or more, go back and unload. So, uh, basically, there won't be a cart that comes to the right uh, that is greater than 9. So, um, we need to account for that. And I basically already worked it out. Uh, so, the scenarios we need to deal with are as follows. So, we need to deal with um, a cart that has a power level of 10. Immediately launch it and send it back. Um, if the cart has stopped... Uh, unloading from this hopper right here. Uh, so if this hopper is empty, basically, then launch and test here if the cart is of power 9 um, or greater, send it back. So send it back this way, much the same as the this one sends it back as well. Um, and that's just because the next station, the uh, bread carrot and uh, potato farm uh, if it's if that's not the case then you can get it stuck on the on the rail there uh, we also need to test if the cart is empty uh, then launch it and continue on so continue down this path because uh, there is going to be like a a rail going down this way to the the carrot farm the carrot potato and uh, bread farm and also if the hopper, if this hop hopper is empty, there's nothing else to load, go ahead and launch it and then it'll test here if it needs to either unload or continue on to the next farm. So, uh, if you didn't understand that, don't worry about it. We're going to make it work. Uh, that's all you really need, <laughs> need to know right now. Um, so, let's go ahead and put down what we need to put down. Uh, we're going to need a detector rail here. Uh, that detector rail is going to go right on this block, I think. Yeah, that's right. And then... We're going to go ahead and place down powered rails like this, break that rail, and we're going to use some stone brick on top right there. So now we're going to need two comparators coming out like this, and a block uh, redstone torch right there. Then we'll have a sticky piston coming out here, and that's going to hold a fence, which will keep our cart uh, both on the powered rail and on the detector rail. It's a neat little trick. Uh, then we're going to have, yeah, you can see I've already laid down some... Uh, brickwork here. So we're going to have a yeah redstone dust there. We'll have a comparator here on subtraction mode. And as I said, we want it to be, if the power level is greater than 10, or equal to 10, I'm sorry, launch immediately. So that's what we're going to make something to do that here. So we'll have a torch there. Uh, we'll have piston there, and then a block here. And then here we will also have a comparator that will test if this hopper is empty or not. Right there, very nice. Uh, and then what we need is we need some redstone. So we're gonna have, so we want this thing to, uh, I'll put a signal if it this dust is 10 or greater. So we need this to be nine coming into the side here. So that'd be 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, and then we'll have a I believe a lever here. Is that right? Let's see. Yep, 9. So if this dust is 10, uh, yeah, this will turn off. We're tracking this block, and it'll launch immediately. 
So if the cart is empty and the hopper above is also empty, we need this torch to turn off in order for the cart to launch. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to hook that up. Um, so we're going to place repeater here, repeater here, and then we're going to come on up this direction. We've got to be a little careful because the detection line for the melon pumpkin farm is right here. Um, so we're going to come over this way like this, over to here, and then I think we're going to come... I'm just going to fill this in. We're going to come upward like this, so... We'll go, uh, let's see, over here. So we'll do repeater here into a block. And then we'll have this come over like that. Let's go ahead and make some more stone bricks. There we go. Um, so we'll have a repeater here as well. And then we'll just have redstone here, here, and right there as well. Perfect. Okay, so that should work now. Um, so that should be all we have to do here for this portion. Let me just go ahead and fill in some more empty spaces here. We'll fill in some of these these back spaces. Yeah, we've got to be careful not to run into the, the bottom line there. So, now we need to put in the logic where, um, yeah, this doesn't allow a cart with power level 9 to, um, yeah, to go on to the next, the next farm. So, I need a, uh, a couple of comparators for this. And we will wire this up on this intersection here. Okay, everyone, so I went ahead and moved this detector rail back a block and got rid of the powered rail right here. And the reason for that is because this rail defaults to the left. So no matter what, we want to have a pulse come when the cart runs over this detector rail. But we want to stop that pulse whenever um, the power level is greater than 9. So to do that, what we're going to do so first of all, we need to get our pulse in here. So just dust, plain old dust right underneath the detector rail will do that. So we'll have dust there, dust there. And then right here, we're going to have repeater on two ticks. That's important. And that will go into a, uh, a torch here. So now, um, yeah, whenever a, a cart goes over here, so a cart goes over here like, like that, it'll switch the track that direction. But we don't want that when the cart... Uh, is a so it, if when this is a minecart chest so when it's in this state and has a bunch of items in there so if there's a bunch of items in here we want this t to go the opposite direction so in order to do that we need to do the following so we need to place down some blocks like this I'm gonna place down a comparator right here put it on subtraction mode and then like I said we want it to be uh, Sent back when there's nine or more, so we need this this block, this dust here, to be eight. So there's 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. And so that should give us a power level of eight here. Yep, so that ensures anything with a power level nine or greater is going to be sent back. And since there's also this pulse down here, we need to stop this pulse at the same time. So let's go ahead and put down some redstone here. We'll put down a repeater on one tick into this. And then we will put a dust down like that. And that should be it. Um, so now let's just see if this works. So we'll put this in here. We'll have it fill up with some, some items here. So just I'll just put, let's say, 16 stone in there. And we'll send this down this direction. So let's just make sure this works. So there it goes. It goes in. And this should continue on, so it should turn left here after it's done loading. Comes down here and turns left. That's exactly what we want to see. Fantastic. Okay. Let's break this. That's now working. Very good. Um, let's now go ahead and just fill this back in like this. And we'll go ahead and do something like that. And fill this all in, just like so. So now the only thing that's left to do, really, is, first of all, to get out of this hole. <laughs> this hole here. Let's just do that. And that and that. Uh, so now all we have to do is basically hook up this rail line with the, or what was the rest of the rail line, down here. So this actually goes to the... 
to the carrot uh, bread and potato farm. So we need to actually just dig over this way. So I'm going to mark down these coordinates, 307, 303. Okay, and we'll dig right to this spot and connect up this rail line. Uh, we also need to go ahead and modify this back part. So we might as well just do this right now. So we want this to launch uh, if the power of cart is greater than 9. So uh, if it's greater than 9, greater than or equal to 9. So if it's 9 right now, it will launch. So that's already actually done. So fantastic. That's perfect. Um, so yeah, now all we have to do is just dig this way. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And I'll be back once I have connected up this rail line here. All right, so here's the bottom part done in its entirety. You can see I went ahead and hooked up the rail to the uh, potato, carrot, and bread farm right here. Uh, so it used to come down through this direction, but uh, yeah, I had to move it over because of the new wheat farm. And let's block that up just to have it blocked up there. So uh, now what we have to do is we have to actually run a signal uh, for when this is actually here. So we need to go ahead and we're going to dig in here a little bit. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and drop this down here. I want to make all this into stone brick because that's probably the best way to do it. So we'll go ahead and drop this down here. Now we have to be a little careful because there is a lot of redstone going into this area over here. But let's, yeah, let's do this. Let's get out here and, and see where exactly we need to run this to. So we'll get, let's see, we'll get over here. Yeah, this is probably the best way to do it. Quite an extensive maze of rails down here. But yeah, basically what we have to do is hook up the detection system. So let's see, let's get up here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Close jump there. We'll jump across. There we go. Thank goodness for jump boost from the beacons. All right, so uh, we'll, we'll bust in here. Yeah, I have it currently sitting at that spot. Uh, and I guess we'll go ahead and put this right there, I suppose. We need a redstone lamp. Yeah, this, sh this should be good. Boom, right there. And let's go ahead and bust in here. I think would be good. All right, let's see. So we need to power this one here. Um, so it would be wise to... Go on ahead and just do something like this, I believe. Put this over here so it doesn't interfere. Boop. There we go. Okay. Sweet. So, um, right. So now is the time that we should sort of work our way back here. Um, so I think probably a good spot to go would be like right there. So we'll have... Yeah, we'll just have dust going in right here. And then, yeah, we'll go back this way, this direction. Um, so let's just dig out a little ways here. And like I said, we do have a lot of, you can see all these lines converging here. Um, sort of, yeah, indicating where, <laughs> yeah, which, where the card is at at the current moment. Um, but, yeah. It shouldn't be too hard to differentiate this, I don't believe. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we'll get this get this done, and I'll be back once we have this line hooked up. All right, so we got the detection line hooked up. So it comes through this comparator here, drops down, goes through this repeater, uh, comes down this way, and then it goes down here, back up, and then finally up to the redstone lamp uh, behind or right beside the uh, the wool I believe right yeah right beside the wool so that should be it for the uh, yeah for the minecart detection system for the wheat and seed farm so let's go ahead and go on down here we'll patch this up a little bit I think I went down the right line uh, maybe no I did not I went down <laughs> I went down the wrong line here went down the melon pumpkin line there we go this is the one I wanted um, so yeah, we can go ahead and now just yeah block this off, just like that, and that should be it. So that's that part of it done. So we can now go ahead and get the upper part done, the actual farm done. 
And that will involve quite a bit of rail, so I'm going to go ahead and stop by and grab some rail here. I'll take Blaze out there with us, I think, as well. Uh, looks like it is night right now. Is it? Yeah, it's just turning night right now, so we'll probably sleep through the night. Uh, but we'll grab some rail here. We'll dump off some other stuff and get ready to build the uh, actual wheat, wheat farm. Okay, so for this we need to, yeah, then just basically clear out the whole area you see uh, these blocks sort of encompassing. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to clear this out two blocks deep because we need to place uh, rails on these blocks here. Um, so yeah, basically we're just clearing land right now. So pretty straightforward. Blaze is watching us over there, keeping, a, keeping an eye out on us, making sure we don't, uh, yeah, make any mistakes or anything. So... I'll go ahead and clear this out real fast, and I'll be right back. And so there we go, guys. We got the main part of this thing dug out. We put down some bricks, and now it's time to keep uh, doing the rails here. Now, there's a bunch of ways you could do it. You could do like a, like a zipper pattern, so it goes left, right, left, right, left, right. Uh, or you can do like sort of what I'm doing and sort of looping it around the outside first and then come back in. And go around the outside, come back in, loop around the outside, and just continue that pattern. Um, yeah, until you loop back around to like a central line in the center here. So, uh, that's what I'm going to keep on doing. And I'll keep doing that, add some powered rails, and then we can put the dirt on top. Alright, so there we have it. We have the rails all complete. So basically what's going to happen here is it's going to turn left initially right here. Go all the way around the outside, all the way back, and then just keep on going uh, from left to right. Basically bouncing left to right until it gets to the center here, at which point it's going to come around here, work its way through here, and then go back into drop its stuff off. So, um, let's go ahead and make sure that this actually works. Uh, let's see if we have, we should have some type of, yeah, hopper here. There we go. I'm just going to dump some of this other stuff off because we don't need it anymore. So let's go ahead and put down this hopper minecart right there. There we are. And make sure it works. So we should see it. Here we go. Let's test it out. Um. Whoops. That's why we test. <laughs> so yeah, I forgot one rail right there. Continue, good sir. And there we go. Fantastic. So it does work. Very nice. Can I beat this card over here? Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, yeah, now all we have to do is basically just cover this up with some dirt. So let me grab a bunch of dirt. And we're just going to cover the whole thing with dirt. Uh, we do need to leave spaces for some water as well. Um, but I think we can put those actually right on top of these. Uh, these, these pumpkins. And they should be fine. So, yeah, I'll put dirt everywhere except on the pumpkins themselves. So just down like that. And I'll be back once that's done. Alright, so we got the dirt down, we got the uh, lighting all figured out, so I put some sea lanterns over the, the water here to give lighting on the surface and also on the sides a little bit. Um, let's see, we also have some uh, yeah green stained clay on the sides with some birch wood fence above. Um, this is really useful because if I stand over here, let me make sure I get the beacon effects here. Uh, I got one more block to go over. There we go. If I have jump boost, I can just scale this in a single bound, so I don't even need to make a way in, which is kind of cool. And yeah, I put this here so the villager can stand under here when it's raining, if, it, if they need to. Uh, plus, we need a little extra light on these four blocks right here in the center. But, uh, I think that is pretty much it, guys. Um, so, yeah, um, now all we have to do is finish this up, so we're just going to go ahead and keep on... Bring in these birch fence onto the side here. Just like this. We might run out. Yeah, we need a few more birch fence here. Let me get a few more. There we go. Uh, yeah, we need just a few more. There we go. That should be pretty good, I think. And then just need a few more there. Hopefully nine is enough. 
I think it probably will be. Yep, just enough. Fantastic. Okay. Now we're going to take my diamond hoe and just till all of this. And we're going to go ahead and plant the seeds and get the villager over here because there's one thing we have to do that's critical for this farm to work still. So I'll go ahead and till this and be back with a villager uh, that we get from our villager trading center. Okay, everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and change up the pattern a little bit. I'm going to go with some pumpkins on the side instead of uh, some sea lanterns. There'll still be sea lanterns in the inside. But then we also are going to go with some uh, some white stained glass just because the fence, I think the zombies could still get the villager in uh, in some situations with the fence there. But I do have a villager now in encased right here. Brought him over via a rail from the villager trading center over that way. And yeah, now what we need to do is we need to fill his inventory with eight stacks of seeds. So, one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight stacks of seeds. And you should be able to get all those. Okay, and then we got to test this out here. So now if I throw a piece of wheat, he should not pick that up. Um, so let's see if that's still here. Yep, okay. So I, I picked it up there. Um, let's test it out one more time here. There we go. Jump boost. Toss that in there. And yeah, you see he's not picking that up. That is great. That's what we want to see. So, uh, now he's ready to be released into here. Uh, he's a fisherman, by the way. So, let's just do that. Push him on in. Or not. Come on, guy. Oh, my God, guy. Come on. This guy. Come on. Get in the, get in the farm. Look. Look how wonderful it is out here. Come on. Okay, everybody, so you can see the villager is now, yeah, destroying the uh, wheat bits, and yeah, he's picking up the seeds and replanting everything while leaving the, uh, the wheat be, which is exactly what we want to see. And the cart is going underneath and picking up all this wheat. As you can see, some of it's disappeared. Yeah, that one just disappeared there, for instance. And we'll come on back here and make sure this is working here. So we should see the cart, yep, dumping off some stuff. And then, yep, once it's done dumping off the wheat, it, yeah, keeps going and, uh, yeah, goes to collect more. So, yeah, this is looking pretty good right right now, guys. Um, so, uh, only thing we have left to do is to just eat something right here. And we'll go down to make sure the big system is working, the system that runs, you know, to all these automatic farms. So let's go down here and see where our cart is at currently. So it looks like it's at the cactus farm here. So we'll wait here and see. Yep, okay, just left the cactus farm. Should go to the chicken farm. Boom, awesome. And it'll probably stay there for a little bit. All right, left there. Picked up everything there. Now it should go to the mushroom farm, I believe. And there it is, mushroom farm. Short stop there, very short. And then it should come all the way over here to the sugar cane farm. You can hear it passing overhead. And then, after a brief moment. Yep, sugarcane farm. Not much to pick up there, apparently. Next stop, melon farm. Melon pumpkin farm. There it is. Fantastic. And it looks like it's picking up some stuff here. Uh, so we'll just wait just a brief moment here. So this is the main part we're, we're uh, sort of focused on right here. We want to see this leave the melon and pumpkin farm and then stop off at the wheat farm to pick up the wheat and seeds. So we should see that after it's after it's left the melon and pumpkin farm. Uh, I'm not sure how long it'll take because I think melon and pumpkins might have had quite a few in there. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Oh, okay, there it went. It left. Let's see where it goes. It's either gonna go back to unload or that. Yep. Okay. It worked. Hooray! It made it to the. It made it to the wheat farm. Very nice. And looks like it's staying there for a bit of time, collecting the wheats and the seeds. And we'll see what happens after this. It'll either go back, um, or it will. Yeah. Go to the uh, the carrot, potato, and bread farm. So we'll give it a give it a wait here and see what happens. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite builds in all the in the whole world. 
uh, because yeah, it's a real time map of where the cart is is uh, loading up. I mean, this is the first time I've ever seen this in in Minecraft. So let's see what happens. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it went it went there. Okay, and then it filled up, and now it should come come to this point here. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything works correctly. Come on, baby. Light up here. Unloading. So this is the last station. This is the unloading dock. This sends everything to the auto sorter. Come on, light up, light up, light up. Yeah, baby. Woo hoo hoo. That automation, baby. Very nice. So yeah, it is working, guys. It is working. So everything I collected from all these farms is now going to be offloaded. And then the whole process will start again. So once it's done, it'll go back to the cactus farm, to the chicken farm, mushroom farm, sugar cane, da 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 da. On and on and on, forever and ever. Alright. Fantastic, guys. Let's check on this villager over here, make sure uh, he's doing okay. Out here at night. Uh, looks like he is. Very nice. Okay. Blaze, you come with me. We're gonna go sleep through the night, guys. Uh, I got some trading I need to do. Uh, and we also have to, I want to take a look at my mushroom farm, make sure that's working, uh, next time. And, yeah, then we're going to work on Zara Zara a little bit, so, yeah, a lot more to come from me. Blaze, get in here. Where are you? What, what are you doing in the door, guy? Alright, so we got him unstuck from the door, so for me and Blaze, thank you guys for watching. This has been Cub Fan. Goodbye.